Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am back again with a mukbang and a horror movie and I'm getting ready to watch House 2 and I'm gonna eat this yummy keto friendly chicken and cauliflower casserole. Hey guys, welcome back. So excited, haven't done a mukbang and a horror movie in quite a few weeks. So yes, yeah, so yummy. I have some yummy food today. So basically, I got a can of shredded chicken salad. I mixed it with some cauliflower rice with herbs. It has about a quarter cup of mozzarella cheese and about a tablespoon of mayonnaise. <laughs> now this casserole, I made it last night, but I only ate half. So I saved the other half for lunch today. So, oh my God, this movie. I haven't watched it in so long. It's from 1987. It's one of those, you know, it's kind of cheesy. It's like, it's horror, but you know. <laughs> You guys know me though. I love cheesy 80s horror movies. <laughs> oh, I forgot to tell you guys. The reason why the, the casserole looks this color, yellowish, is because I put a little packet of Sazon Goya. So, oh my God, it gives it awesome flavor. Mmm. Oh my God, it's so good. So yeah, I have the TV like really low. Because you never know anymore with YouTube. <laughs> I remember a few weeks ago when I tried to do one of these mukbangs with um that movie called Alice, Sweet Alice, and it was an epic fail. <laughs> I had to erase it. I couldn't because even though I wasn't showing clips like YouTube could pick up on my video the voices the sound in the background from the movie so yeah that one was blocked in some countries so I was like it's pointless to keep it up so I just I just deleted it mmm This is so good. You know what it tastes like? It tastes sort of like tuna casserole. Although it's chicken, but mmm. I always buy those cans of chicken salad at Aldi. They're a lifesaver. <laughs> Which I'm excited about because today is grocery day for us. When David gets out of work, he's going to pick me up and we're going to go to Aldi. So, yeah. I can't wait. I got to stock up on so many things. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Oh my god. That girl in this movie, I think I know she is. The girl in this movie looked very familiar, and I think she was in Friday the 13th, part 7. Her face is unmistakable. <laughs> mm. This is so flavorful, you guys. And I buy, uh, when I go to Aldi, 
I buy the frozen bags of cauliflower rice. And this one that I bought has like herbs in it. So it's so good. Mmm. So delicious. So yeah, I can't wait to go to Aldi because I have to like really stock up for like the entire month and I want to go, I want to buy that. I hope they have it because my mom wants me to get her some as well because she uh, started doing keto. The Aldi's um, zero net carb bread. Oh my God. If you guys haven't tried it yet, check out, I did a review on it about a month ago it's really good but I mentioned in my video that because of the ingredients in it I don't believe that the the bread is a hundred percent keto friendly just because of the ingredients it does say zero net carbs because the bread in itself has a total of nine carbs and the fiber is nine so when you deduct the fiber from the total carbs you get a total of zero net carbs but because of the ingredients like wheat starch and stuff like that I don't believe that it's 100% keto friendly but there are people who have eaten the bread and then gotten their glucose checked and the meter did, you know their glucose did not get spiked after eating the keto friendly Aldi bread so yeah I always say try things out for yourself you know um so yeah in my video I made sure to mention all that if you guys watch my videos fully then you would know that I said as I did my review I'm not a hundred percent sure this is keto friendly but hey for me it'll do because I'm in maintenance mode and really ketosis Being in the state of ketosis is a tool. Ketosis is a tool that you use to help you lose weight, to speed up the, the weight loss process, to uh, be in that fat burning mode, you know. But since I am now in maintenance mode, I have no need to be 100% constantly all the time in ketosis, you know. And it's funny how that one guy that I had beef with <laughs> like a few weeks ago, on Facebook because I had posted my review of it and like three seconds later the, the video hadn't been up for like a minute three seconds later he was already commenting like negative stuff on my video without watching it so if he would have taken the time to actually watch my video fully he would have known that I said try it out for yourself but due to the ingredients in it I'm not quite sure if this is 100% keto friendly so yeah Sometimes people make fools of themselves and idiots <laughs> because they don't watch a video fully before they comment and then bam, you just made a fool of yourself, buddy. <laughs> oh, but thank God that drama's over. I don't even look their way anymore. Anybody who's problematic, who loves drama, who loves to throw little jabs in their video and stuff like that. I'm sorry, but ain't nobody got time for that. If you took the time to watch my videos fully, then you would know what I say in them. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, definitely, you should try it out, you know. Find what works for you. I love it. I really like it. I bought it, and then when I ran out, I didn't go buy anymore because my Aldi is not that close to my house. And we go there like once a month. So now, for this month's grocery haul, I definitely plan on buying more. And I'm going to buy a couple of loaves for my mom as well. Because she, she tried it and she really loved it.
But yeah, I'm excited because, you know, keto is getting so big and sometimes you go to like the grocery store and you see like stuff out there that, that's come out new, you know, before we had to do without yogurt and bread and stuff like that. And now, you know, even chocolate bars, everything that's coming out that's keto friendly is amazing, you know. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, you guys. Oh my God, that was so good and so flavorful, so delicious. Maybe one of these days I'll do a cooking video and show you guys how simple this meal is to prepare. Super fast and simple. And it's very, you know, satisfying and filling and it'll help you get through your day. <laughs> All right, you guys. So with that said, I am done with this mukbang and a horror movie. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos and click on the description box below for a link to all my social media and I will see you ghouls and goblins in my very next video. Unpleasant dreams.